Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. One of the easiest ways to install ESX4 is to use an unattended answer file. And that unattended answer file basically answers the questions that we would normally answer with our keyboard and our mouse during the graphical installation. And we can create a unattended answer file, which is normally called a ks.cfg file. That's the name we give it. We can create this from scratch if we'd like, but by far the easiest way to do this is to actually go through a graphical installation. And when we do that, the installer actually creates a ks.cfg file for us with the options that we selected during that graphical installation. So it's very easy and it's a great place to start when you want to do an unattended installation. So let's go grab that file from the server that we just installed using the text installation. I'm just going to double click on it and it doesn't matter whether you did the text installation or the graphical, it's still going to create that file with the options you specified. So we gave it the IP address of 192.168.6.80 and I'm just going to go ahead and log in with root. Now in order to be able to log in with root you have to configure root uh, to be able to log in via SSH. And we actually configure that in a, another movie in another tutorial, the ESX3 Virtual Center 2 tutorial. And we'll also do it in the vSphere administration tutorial. But since this is just going over new features, we're not going to cover it here. I'm going to go ahead and click log in. And this initially takes us to our root folder, and that's actually where it's located, the ks.cfg. So if I just go up a directory, you can see I'm at the root directory, the slash, and I just need to go to the root folder, and here it is. So I'm going to copy this over to my document so that we can take a look at it. Now close out, click OK, and I'll just open up Explorer, go to my documents, and here it is, ks.cfg. I'll just double click on it. Now, initially, it's not going to know what program to open it up with, but you're going to want to open it up with WordPad. And you can see all the different options here. And these are just answers to the questions that we normally answer in the graphical installation. Now, other than the standard questions that this answers, we can actually get more advanced with a scripted installation. And we're going to take a look at that in a later movie. But you can see that some of the options we specified, the time zone here, we specified US Arizona root password is actually going to be encrypted, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't list it here in plain text, so somebody just can't open this file and see what you specified for the root password. And down here's our network configuration. This is where it sets up the physical partitions. And down here, remember the ESX uh, console is on a virtual disk, and this is where it sets up the partitions on that virtual disk. And we're going to go over these in more detail, but I just wanted to show it to you right now. And In the next movie, we're going to look at modifying it just a bit because we wouldn't want to use this exact same uh, text file in order to do an, un an, installation or an unattended installation on another server. We need to modify it just a little bit. So let's take a look at that in the next movie.